One of the biggest problems of the coronavirus pandemic is living under quarantine when a member of the family is infected. That's happening right now to the Jesuit family in Washington, D.C. One of the priests in the community has the virus. Well-known Jesuit writer Father Thomas Reese lives there, and he's now under a self-imposed quarantine. Still, he's able to join us today over Skype. Welcome, Father. Hi, good to be with you. Uh, first, please give us an update on the health of Father Steve Planning. It's been about a week since he tested positive. How's he doing? Well, he's tending uh, in, in a, a good direction. So uh, uh, luckily, he has not had to go to a hospital. Uh, he's been able to recover uh, uh, on his own, uh, in his own room. Uh, so uh, he's he was really good, you know. As soon as he got a fever, he's he quarantined himself. He uh, mm. let us all know uh, his situation. Uh, he stayed in his room, and we've been bringing him meals, and he's been in daily contact with his doctor over the phone. So you're talking about the meals and him staying in the room. How has your community responded? You all live together. Are you able to social distance? Well, we we have to social distance. I mean, we we used to get together uh, uh, for meals. We used to get together for mass. Uh, now we really can't do that mm -hmm. anymore. The whole point of community living is to be like a family, grow together in faith. How has this affected you and your brother priests personally? Well, you know, <laughs> St. Ignatius Loyola, who was the founder of the Jesuits and a great uh, spiritual guide, uh, in his spiritual exercises that he uh, wrote, one of the things he recommended is that we periodically meditate on death. You know, kind of pretend that we're on our deathbed and we look back on our lives and say, well, you know, what are the things we're proud of? What are the things we wish we hadn't done? So there's been a lot of meditating on death. But I have to ask you, have you been tested for the virus and how scared were you that you were also infected? Well, I'm of course scared like everybody, but I have not had any symptoms. I take my temperature twice a day. Uh, no, uh, no fever, no temperature. I'm both, I tend to run below normal. Uh, so uh, uh, I've been extremely lucky. And in some ways, you know, poor Steve, you know, he's so apologetic to all of us uh -huh. for putting us through this. But I'm telling him, hey, you may have saved us because he because of him, we've been in quarantine now for 12 days. So we've been very careful. We were put in quarantine to protect other people from us. Right. Where in fact, the result has also been we've been protected from getting infected by other people. Right. So, uh, you know, it's a it's a two edged sword. And I think all of us have to be very serious about keeping distance, about staying home uh, and doing all the things, washing our hands. I'm going through the house twice a day with, you know, a Clorox solution, mm -hmm. wiping everything down, wiping down all the doorknobs, all the elevator buttons, all the table surfaces. You know, we have to do these things to protect one another. Sure. And since you're doing that, what advice would you give to someone else who's at home and is living with a family member who has coronavirus? Well, what, this, uh, what the experts are telling us is that only one member of the family should deal with that person you know, and they should stay in their room, uh, you know, hope, you know, if, if uh, you know, if you have more than one bathroom, they should use just one bathroom and have the rest of the family use another one. But if they don't, well, if they have to come out of the room, use the bathroom, well, put on gloves and wipe it down with Clorox before anybody else uses uh, that bathroom. Uh, you know, and, you know, bring them their food. Leave, hopefully you can leave it outside the door. Then they can open the door, get it, you know, and then leave the dishes and then sterilize those dishes. Wipe down that tray. Uh, you know, I, I had a teacher in, uh, in graduate school who said there are two types of people in this world, the paranoids and the losers. Today is the time to be paranoid <laughs> about germs.
This is true. All right, some good advice. Father Reese, a Jesuit priest from Washington, D.C., thank you for being with us. Good to be with you and stay healthy. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.